Okay. This one, uh, accuracy versus precision is, is important uh, when we're talking about sig figs because when I introduce something, a number, and I have a lot of sig figs, I can get a really precise answer. Well, what does that really mean to be precise? I'll show you uh, in, in these images here. I just did a Google search for accuracy versus precision and uh, got some really good results. So this is a really good illustration on accuracy versus precision. Okay? Now, if you ever played darts before, your goal is to try to hit the bullseye in the center, right? Uh, this person here is not accurate nor precise. He's just randomly shooting and not very good, you can tell. Okay? Now, someone that is precise, they don't have to be accurate. Okay, so precision is just making sure, yeah, they're consistent. That's very good. Good. Okay, so all the darts are in. All the darts are in the same area. Okay, so they they can be precise. Okay, whereas this one, all the darts are very spread out. So this is not precise, but it still can be accurate because if I average all of these together, you will have uh, the bullseye, the top and the bottom average together, right? If you go uh, too high and too low, your average will be in the center. Or if you go too much to the left or too much to the right, the average will be in the center, okay? So this one could be accurate, but not precise, and this one's not accurate, but it's precise, okay? Whereas this one here is both accurate and precise, okay? So, um, let's look at Let's look at um, another illustration, and I like this one because this one is. Oh, by the way, here are we accurate or precise? Precise. 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 Very and good. Okay. Here, here is, um, uh, here is another one. Okay. You can see that this is a graph. I like this because precision goes up this way. Look, this is not precise. They're far apart, but this is precise because they're close together. Accuracy. Uh, increases this way. Look at this one. Look how accurate oh. this one is. See? It's so accurate because it's next to the bullseye, but this is not. It's far away from the bullseye. This one is both accurate and precise. Okay? Okay. So, let's try to do this with some values now. Let's, let's put some values. Okay? For a long time, scientists have been trying to figure out the acceleration of gravity. We know that the Accepted value is 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay, the acceleration of gravity. Now, if we were in a lab, or we did this in, in our class, and we had uh, maybe three lab groups, or, and I told you to find the acceleration of gravity, if some of you said, uh, maybe one group says 7.5, the other group said 7.6, and the other group says 7.5, Again, these would not be accurate at all, but they would be precise because they're close together. Perhaps maybe we didn't account for something, maybe like the uh, air resistance or friction. Okay? Uh, we can just easily know that at least our results are consistent. Okay. If another group uh, did this lab, say, example, the next period... Uh, period D. Period G. F, F. Or yeah. whatever. Okay? So... Uh, maybe they got um, 9.8, uh, 10.8, and 8.8 for their results. I would say, okay, well, let's average these results together. The average is 9.8, so they're right on to the target. Yeah. So this is pretty accurate, yeah. right? But um, this is not precise at all because like their range together. is a really yeah. large range, okay? It's not close together. So, um, uh, in, in, uh, in summary, we'll oh. see that uh, these ones, this value to the left is precise but not accurate. And the one to the right is not precise but it is accurate. Okay, pretty good. So on the test, I'll give you a set of values. I'll ask you which one's most precise, which one's most accurate, and then you will ease the test. Woo! Easy. Woo